Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. It's Brianna and in this week's video, I actually have a week off of school, if that makes sense. Obviously I'm still in school, I still have things to hand in, but the workload is a lot less than it has been in the last few weeks. So I definitely do a lot of self care and this is more of a weekly vlog. So without further ado, make sure to like and subscribe and let's just get into the weekly vlog. I know I said this week was very casual and light in terms of schoolwork, but I actually do study quite a bit throughout this video. So here I'm just doing some pre-lab work. I honestly really needed this week off though and I'm glad that the workload was light because I don't think I would have been able to sustain another super productive week. I think I was going like five weeks in a row or something. So this is just a reminder to all of you that you deserve a big break and you're probably working really hard. So you should take an evening to de-stress or in my case, take like nine days. So one thing that I have recently been loving is collecting art prints and they can get kind of pricey if it's like $10 an art piece. So recently I've been like printing them out just on like regular paper and I get all of these off of Pinterest. If you guys want to follow my Pinterest, I save like all the ideas and the ones on my wall to my prints board. So if you guys want to check that out, you can. Making my study space like prettier and like decorating it has really like, made me love spending like 10 to 12 hours at my desk because that is like how much time I really spend there and I think investing, well not necessarily investing because these are free, but investing in the other ones that I did pay for is like it's a good investment because you want to feel like content and happy being at your desk. So yeah, that's just what I've been loving lately. I honestly think mundane tasks like cutting paper is so therapeutic. This might be weird, but it just makes so much sense to me. I love doing simple tasks that don't require a lot of brain power, especially after a busy week where I was exercising my brain for almost 14 hours a day. And I think that's also why I love doing my nails and my nail art because it's just so easy. So I highly recommend taking up simple hobbies or tasks to de-stress. This was one of the few days I was very productive during the week. I had to write a lab report and I had been working on it leisurely up until the day it was due. So to say I was rushing and stressed is an understatement. I essentially had to write the entire thing in a day and here I am just like finicking with my graphs because Microsoft Excel is not my friend. Here I'm just finishing up the lab report. I did not leave enough time for me to finish the discussion as well as I would have liked. I literally gave myself 15 minutes and I had to pump out like 300 or 400 words. So yeah, it was just <laughs> not a very good writing experience. Not to mention, I literally handed it in on the due date and it still said that I was late, but if they actually look at the receipts, they will see that I handed it in on the dot. Hey guys, happy Thursday. I actually woke up a little late and it's actually mid afternoon right now, but my friend Alicia is coming over just for a little steady date because she has a bit of work to do. So do I, she was feeling a little down. So I was like, why don't you come over? I'll order sushi and then we can hang out in the backyard because the weather is so nice. It's like 16 degrees. I should be in a skirt, but I'm in jeans right now. Okay, but anyways, um, yeah, essentially this is what I do during a week of like downtime, I guess, or like what I like to do when I'm not studying 24 seven. It's definitely spending a lot of time with my friends, eating good food. <laughs> and yeah, that's probably my plan for the day. Hey guys, good morning. It's Friday and I am going to go thrifting with my mom and I'm kind of excited because she took a few days off this week um, just to do her own downtime and it's so funny that like it coincides with my downtime so we've been spending a lot of time together. So yeah, I'm gonna get dressed for that. I'm also changing my nails today for a video that's gonna go up on Sunday and I'm pretty sure this video is coming out after so if you guys haven't seen that yet 
go check it out i'll put it in the corner here but yeah you can see like the lines on my face like i literally just woke up and she's looking a little rough but it's okay because nobody's perfect <laughs> Something that I haven't told you guys that I do every week because I post study vlogs every Sunday so obviously like why would I talk about like my life outside of school but that is what the weekly vlogs are for. I actually pull an all-nighter almost every Saturday night until the moment that I upload on Sunday. Essentially, I post every Sunday at noon. So I stay awake from Saturday around 8 or 9 p.m. That's when I start editing until the moment that I post on Sunday. So that's why I don't respond to comments right when videos are posted because I literally just pulled an all-nighter and I need to sleep. And the reason why I do this is because I usually catch up on all my sleep that I lost during the week Friday night and then like into Saturday midday and then midday obviously I want to like spend time with my family and like do things to like relax and then it's like grind time Saturday night to get the video up for Sunday and then after the video goes up on Sunday I usually sleep for a majority of the day and then I have like the evening to I don't know do whatever else I want like self-care make my notion schedule for the next week and then it just repeats so that's what I'm doing right now it's literally Sunday the day of the upload I am almost done editing actually usually I am not done until like 9 in the morning and then I struggle to upload from 9 to 11 and then the video goes up at 12 but this video is actually pretty short so hopefully I'll be done by 6 a.m. that's my goal and then I'll probably work out and I'll go to sleep but yeah another attack on titan print and it is so beautiful the detail is insane i absolutely adore it hey guys so i thought it'd be nice to show you my little anime wall that i have been slowly building over the last few days there are a few empty spots and that's because i think some of my friends got me prints for my birthday which is actually the day of this upload so today's tuesday and this video is going up on March 31st, a Wednesday, and that's my birthday. So that's why there's a few empty spots. I'm definitely still like moving things around, but I think it's like pretty cute for now. So yeah, like enough of me talking. Let's just like look at the wall. <laughs> so this is what like the full wall looks like. And then this is the other side. It's still incomplete. Like I said, it's a work in progress. I also get more than half of my prints off of Pinterest. I just print them out myself because it can get pricey. So if you guys want to follow my Pinterest, to see which ones I'm saving and printing out, then you can follow my Pinterest on screen. Here we just have Chihiro on Haku, and then I honestly don't know where this is from, I just found it on Pinterest. And I think this is just a little fan art from Spirited Away as well, because you have like a little like no face kind of person right here. And then I just have a picture of Kiloa here with the purple just to match like these two. And then I also like try to have like a gradient, so like these are all blues and then it kind of mixes to green. But anyways, these are from Brooke Illustration and this is from Lulu's Paper Cranes. It's like watercolored and it's so pretty. It's definitely like one of the statement pieces on my wall. Of course, I have Erwin here and then of course I have my Levi print. This is one of my favorite prints on my wall. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. It's from Astronaut on Instagram. That's probably not how you say it, but it'll be on screen. She is also the one that I got 
this print from down here. I'm absolutely in love with this one and that's why I put it lower on the wall. And then when I'm studying it, I can see it more often because they are so beautiful. I'm literally just obsessed with Attack on Titans. It's one of my favorite animes. And then these four prints are from Pinterest. I think this one was really cute. It was like trying times. And then I got these three pieces from Pinterest and I believe they're all by the same artist. And then I just have these minimalistic movie posters. I have a Your Lie in April one because I love this anime. And then I just have like the original Attack on Titans movie movie poster which is a masterpiece I love it and then I just have like some more wordy ones this is from we the urbans and then this one's just like allow yourself to grow I thought it was really cute I am a plant mom so we just have a little hang in there and I believe that's a pothos because you know I have my own pothos so I just thought it'd be really cute that was quite possibly the worst wall tour in the history of YouTube and the internet but that is the wall and I absolutely love it and I'm so excited to see which other ones I could buy or maybe print out myself just to like save some coin, you know? I love them though, so that's why I have a whole bunch. I'm really excited to like keep completing my wall. I probably won't go all the way up to the ceiling. I'll probably extend it to my monitor and then maybe this one until the window. But yeah, if you guys start your own little anime wall or it doesn't have to be anime, but if you start your own like print or art wall, definitely tag me because I definitely want to see that. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the tour. <laughs>